weapons, and shields on your back. There's just something about it that makes you look and feel like a hero. In Skyrim, it's possible, but there's a speed bump that a lot of us tend to run into, and that's really tricky installation. But that's why I'm here to help you. My name is Slothability, and I'm gonna show you how to install XP32 Maximum Skeleton, Dual Sheath Redux, and Immersive Animations. When you're ready to begin, go ahead and navigate to the Dual Sheath Redux page. If you scroll down, you'll see under the Requirements section that you need Skyrim, SKSE, the Java Runtime Environment 7 Update 21 or greater, the XP32 Maximum Skeleton, and Boss. Another recommended mod, which really should be a requirement, is the Four's New Idols in Skyrim, or FNIS. And as you'll see the description for it says, it fixes most animation issues when using new animations and skeletons. We're going to be installing new animations and a new skeleton, so this is required. If you're watching this video, I'd hope that you already have the first requirement. Moving on to the second requirement, we need SKSE. And if you click on the link, it'll take you to a new page that looks like this. If you don't already have SKSE, a lot of really good mods require it, and I highly recommend it. For our purposes, we're going to need it. Now you can install it through various different ways. There's an installer that does it for you, or a 7-zip archive with a readme, and that means you're manually downloading it and then unzipping the file. And then it's simply copy-paste. If you don't already know how to do this, there's actually a video linked here that leads you to a Gopher video, and if you don't know Gopher, he's a fantastic modder and tutorial giver. The next thing on the list is the Java Runtime Environment, and if you click on that link on the page, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. Once here, you'll see a giant red button that says Free Java Download. Go ahead and download it and install it. We're going to need it for our later part of the tutorial, and you'll see why. After you have that installed, go ahead and skip downloading the XP32 for now, then go ahead and download BOSS. Now on the BOSS page, it'll look like this. You'll see a giant blue button that says Download BOSS. Now at this point, some of you will be asking about Loot. Loot is the beta version of BOSS, and currently, when you install Dual Sheath Redux, it doesn't ask for loot, it asks for boss, and you'll see what I mean later. So for now, let's just focus on using boss. Moving on, before we install any new skeletons or animations, let's go ahead and download 4's new idols. Under 4's new idols file section, you'll see two different options. You'll see behavior, which says always necessary, and then the add-on for spells. To play it safe, let's just download both of them. You'll also see a section in orange that says Run Generate FNIS for Users. For now, ignore this. I'll show you what it means later. By now, we should have everything we need except for the XP32 Maximum Skeleton. Why don't you go ahead and click on that, and it'll take you to the page. Despite the suggestive images at the top, it actually supports a lot more than what you think. It supports dual sheath redux and new placements for weapons. Under the requirements section, you'll see that it requires realistic ragdolls in force, and the reason for this is because if you install XP32 without this, you won't be able to move any of the dead bodies or corpses. So go ahead and click on realistic ragdolls in force. Once you get there, under the files section, you'll see three different options. You'll see realistic, reduced, and medium. Personally, I just use realistic, and it seems to work very well for me. Once you have realistic ragdolls in force, Go ahead to the XP32 mod page, and under the file section, download the main file. You'll see one that says XPMS 193A. That's the current version as of this video, and go ahead and click on Download with Manager. By now, we should have everything we need except for immersive animations. Let's not worry about that right now, and go ahead and open up the Nexus Mod Manager. Let's start by activating the easy ones. Let's activate 4's new idols, the first one and the second one and activate Realistic Ragdolls in Force. Now let's activate XP32, and let's go through it together, because it'll bring up certain options that you may or may not want for your installation. When you activate XP32, a pop-up window will show up, and it'll give you the option for bow and quiver. You can choose to just have the default placement, which is what I select, 
Or you can choose Frostfall by Chesco, and this will change the bow to look like this in the picture. The next question is if you use Joy of Perspective. If you do use that mod, click yes. For me, I do not, so I hit no. Next, it'll ask if you want to change the bulk quiver placement. Now, I didn't choose this, I just hit next. Now we get to the one-handed sword placement. You'll notice that one of the options is back one-handed sword. Go ahead and click on this because we need this. Then it asks if you want the back one-handed equip animation and you hit yes. Now for dagger placement, this is completely optional again, but I personally like seeing it on my back hip. It makes me feel a little more stealthy. It all comes down to preference. If you choose back hip like I did, it'll ask you for the animation and you select yes. Now once we get to this option, it's a little confusing, but for our purposes, we're going to need the first option. The last two are if you don't have Four's new idols, or if you're using the mod for something else. So once you've selected Skeleton Rig Map, hit Next. Congrats! You have adjusted all the setup for your skeleton, and all you have to do is hit Finished. Now you'll notice that it says Confirm Overwrite once you're trying to install it. For this, it's talking about realistic ragdolls in Force. Select Yes to All. Now it's time to activate Dual Sheath Redux. After you activate the mod, a tool called Dual Sheath Redux Patch is installed in your data folder and needs to be activated as well. Navigate to your data folder by going through Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim, and then Data. Now we're in your data folder, and you'll see a new folder that says Skyproc Patchers. Go ahead and double click on this. Once in here, you'll see a file that says Dual Sheath Redux Patch, and if you look really closely, it has a picture of the Java symbol. This is why we installed the Java runtime environment earlier. Go ahead and double click on this, and you'll see a window pop up. You'll see other settings, or you'll see in the top right, it says Patch. Go ahead and select Patch. The next step is to run boss. Go ahead and select yes. Once it's finished running boss, it'll have two new folders over here. Ignore those for now and go back to your data folder. If you scroll down, you'll see that there's a new ESP that's been added. It says Dual Sheath Redux Patch. Make sure that this is activated inside your Nexus Mod Manager or whatever else you're using to manage your mods. Now we just need the proper animations to go with our new weapon placements. Time to open up the page for immersive animations. When you reach this mod page, you'll see a whopping 16 options. Please. Do not install all of 16 of these. You're only going to need one of these at a given time. For me, I use IAN, Single Hand Sword, and Dagger on Back, but you can easily switch between other options. You don't need any of the main files at all. And as I said before, only one of these can be active in the Mod Manager at a time. Otherwise, you'll run into conflicts. Once you've downloaded the animation you want, activate it in the Mod Manager. And once you've done that, we're practically finished. There's only one last really important step we need to do. Like we said before, whenever you add or change any animations, it's vital that you use a tool provided by Four's new idols. You'll find this tool in the Skyrim data folder under the Tools folder. and then there'll be a section that says Four's New Idols for Users. The icon for what you need to run this is an orange square with an F in the middle. To make life easier, I would create a desktop shortcut or pin it to your taskbar if you use Windows 7 for easy access. Now that we're finished, let's load up the game and check.
I hope you found this guide helpful, and if you did, share it with others who you think might need it. I'll see you in the next mod showcase, let's play, or tutorial.